What is up FIFA coverage? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch the video on the channel. If you're new around these corners, you absolutely know how it goes. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if you're excited for this showdown right here. This guy goes by the name of Marco Sinisi. He is an Argentinian player who is born in Concordia. Never heard of that city, but sounds like a beautiful city. Concordia, Argentina. He is six foot. He is six foot, and he has played a lot of his career and uh, two specific leagues, right? He has played for San Lorenzo, which is an Argentinian professional soccer club, and then for Feyenoord. The funny thing about this showdown is that both of the players have played for, for, for Feyenoord and that they have played at the same time. So it's actually very impressive to see those two guys clashing. Um, let's start with where we start, right? This guy is six foot tall, just like Rick, six foot tall. He is high, high. And as a center back, high, high, I'm not gonna lie, that is, uh, something that you need to keep in mind, right? I like my center backs dedicated at the back, really creating that back line, that wall at the back line, and not pushing too high. But, and I repeat, but this can prove to be sensational. He is left footed, he has two star weak foot, uh, sorry, two star skill move, three star weak foot, and that is a okay. Boys, I really already can tell you that I see this guy playing as a CDM, but it's a dedicated CDM, right? I like the high, high in the midfield, but he needs to have a uh, stay back while attacking as an instruction, right? You cannot put stay back while attacking as an instruction on a center back. So his high high is just going to come into effect. But if you play him as a CDM, then that is possible. You could also be very tempted and play him as a fullback. Let's start with where uh, we start there in the attribute details. He has 90 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. I think the split is fantastic. I am a-okay with that. Moving on to the shooting, it's non-existent except the shot power, but it's absolutely non-existent. So he's not going to be, if you pull, if you play him as a fullback, he's not going to be that guy who goes up and scores. No, he's going to be that guy that goes up and passes the ball or uh, the guy that falls back very, very fast and supports the defense. Moving on to the passing, the passing is somewhat there, right? He has 85 visioning, vision, sorry, uh, at 74 crossing. That is not great at enough, right? To be a fullback, but that is, decent the short pass at 93 and the long pass at 90 that is sensational we absolutely love that moving on to the dribbling this guy has 86 overall the first split is not that great it's 84 agility on 83 balance and you also have to keep in mind that he is average body type but then we move on to the reaction that's 93 ball control 86 dribbling 84 composure 94 and that is sensational boys where this card where this card absolutely outshines is the defending look at that 92 interception 90 hitting accuracy 90 aware uh, defensive awareness 90s and the sand tackling and the slight tackling is at 89 listen you combine the hitting accuracy with the jumping and this guy is absolutely a threat in the box he's going to support your efforts in defending those uh, corners and he's also going to support your efforts in scoring when it's time to attack um, he, so he has to be in the box when it's time to put those headers. The stamina at 91, the strength at 91, the aggression at 88. This guy is a pure, pure machine. He's going to be a brute force on the pitch. He is going to do exactly what you want him to do, which is defend. The only thing, like I said, is a high high. But again, we've seen the likes of, uh, of Ramos with high attacking that plays sensationally in this game. So I think that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Long passer, CPU aided, power header. That is fantastic. He's going to be exactly, like I said, a threat in the box. Moving on to what you need to do to complete this, it is going to set you just a little bit uh, behind, but it's it's actually very, very affordable. One LODV player, one team of the week or uh, team of the season, 82 overall, 75 chemistry, and a 4 1 2 and 2 second variation. That, my friends, is a okay. Esports did a very good thing by making it so cheap. The next one is only 83 overall, right? And that is also very good, very affordable. One Argentine pillar one team of the week or team of the season we do have to note that you have to submit one team of the week or team of the season in both of these panels uh you also have to have an overall of 83 and team chemistry of 70 and a 4-4-1-1 so a bunch of midfielders and a few forwards and you should be able to complete this boys i'm going to tell you exactly what this guy is going to bring to you this guy is going to bring to you versatility right this guy has the height right he has the strength he has the defending acumen right he has the dribbling that has been boosted and he also has the pace right he does also have the passing so that's very key that's very key to note i think that with this high not that i think but i know that with this high high uh, work rate this guy is going to definitely be able to play on the uh, uh as a fullback listen i have used nacho fernandez the showdown card center back 
as a fullback, as a right fullback, and he has done so, so well for my club. These cards that get high, high work rates and that are center backs really do really well as fullbacks. So keep that in mind. You could also play him as a CDM. He is going to be an absolute wall for your team. Boys, this was your FIFA Carmoner giving you a little bit of a review on Sinesi, Marco Sinesi. I absolutely love the card. I am going to complete him without a shadow of a doubt. Go ahead and do that yourself, and I'll catch you very soon for another player review. Peace out.